Namaste, Dhanavat Pranam. By the instruction and grace of our spiritual master, Om Vishnu Pad, Paramahamsa, Sri Pad Bhakti Madhava Puri Maharaj, we are here reading Sriman Bhagavatam. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Canto 3, the status quo, chapter 16, text 6. Yasyamratam hala yasa travana vagaha sadhya punati jagad asvapachad vikunta soham bhavadhya upala da sutirta kirtis chindyam svabahum apiva pratikula vrittim Anyone in the entire world, even down to the chandala, who lives by cooking and eating the flesh of the dog, is immediately purified if he takes bath in hearing through the ear the glorification of my name, fame, etc. Now you have realized me without doubt. Therefore, I will not hesitate to lop off my own arm if, it is, uh, if its conduct is found hostile to you. Purport. Real purification can take place in human society if its members take to Krishna consciousness. This is clearly stated in all Vedic literature. Anyone who takes to Krishna consciousness in all sincerity, even if he is not very advanced in good behavior, is purified. A devotee can be recruited from any section of human society although it is not expected that everyone in all segments of society is well-behaved. As stated in this verse and in many places in Bhagavad Gita, even if one is not born in a Brahmana family, or even if he is born in a family of Chandalas, if he simply takes the Krishna consciousness, he is immediately purified. In Bhagavad Gita, ninth chapter, verses 30 through 32, it is clearly stated that even though a man is not well-behaved, if he simply takes the Krishna consciousness, he is understood to be a saintly person. As long as a person is in this material world, he has two different relationships in his dealings with others. One relationship pertains to the body and the other pertains to the spirit. As far as bodily affairs or social activities are concerned, although a person is purified on the spiritual platform, it is sometimes seen that he acts in terms of his bodily relationships. If a devotee born in the family of a chandala, the lowest caste, is sometimes found engaged in his habitual activities, he is not to be considered a chandala. In other words, a Vaishnav should not be evaluated in terms of his body. The Shastra states that no one should think the deity in the temple to be made of wood or stone, and no one should think that a person coming from a lower caste family who has taken a Krishna consciousness is still of the same low caste. These attitudes are forbidden because anyone who takes the Krishna consciousness is understood to be fully purified. He is at least engaged in the process of purification. And if he sticks to the principle of Krishna consciousness, he will very soon be fully purified. The conclusion is that if one takes the Krishna consciousness with all seriousness, he is to be understood as already purified. And Krishna is ready to give him protection by all means. The Lord assures herein that he is ready to give protection to his devotee, even if there is need to cut off part of his own body. Text 7. Yatsevaya charana padma pavitra renu sadhyakshatakila malam pratilabdha shilam nashrir virakaktam api mam vijhati asya the Lord continued, Because I am the servitor of my devotees, my lotus feet have become so sacred that they immediately wipe out all sin. And I have acquired such a disposition that the goddess of fortune does not leave me, even though I have no attachment for her while others praise her beauty and observe sacred vows to secure from her even a slight favor. Purport. The relationship between the Lord and his devotee is transcendentally beautiful. 
as the devotee thinks that it is due to being a devotee of the Lord that he is elevated in all good qualities, so the Lord also thinks that it is because of his devotion to the servitor that all his transcendental glories have increased. In other words, as the devotee is always anxious to render service to the Lord, so the Lord is ever anxious to render service to the devotee. The Lord admits herein that although he certainly has the quality that anyone who receives a slight particle of the dust of his lotus feet becomes at once a great personality, this greatness is due to his affection for his devotee. It is because of this affection that the goddess of fortune does not leave him, and that not only one but many thousands of goddess of fortune engage in his service in the material world simply to get a little favor from the goddess of fortune. People observe many rigid regulations of austerity and penance. The Lord cannot tolerate any inconvenience on the part of the devotee. He is therefore famous as Bhaktivatsala. Text 8. Naham yaja manaha virvitane jyotadgrita plutam adan puta bun mukena Yad Brahmanas ya mukatas charato nugasham Tustasya mai ava hitar nija karmam pakai. I do not enjoy the oblations offered by the, sacrifice, uh, by the sacrificers in the sacrificial fire, where, uh, which is one of my own mouths, with the same relish as I do the delicacies overflowing with ghee which are offered to the mouths of the brahmanas who have dedicated to me the results of their activities and who are ever satisfied with my prashad. Purport. The devotee of the Lord or the Vaishnava does not take anything without offering it to the Lord. Since the Vaishnava dedicates all the results of his activity to the Lord, he does not taste anything eatable, which is not uh, first offered to him. The Lord also relishes giving to the Vaishnava's mouth all eatables offered to him. It is clear from this verse that the Lord eats through the sacrificial fire and the Brahmana's mouth. So many um, articles, grains, ghee, etc., are offered and sacrificed for the satisfaction of the Lord. The Lord accepts sacrificial offerings from the Brahmanas and devotees. And elsewhere, it is stated that whatever is given for the Brahmanas and Vaishnavas to eat is also accepted by the Lord. But here it is said that he accepts offerings to the mouths of the Brahmanas and Vaishnavas with even greater relish. The best example of this is found in the life of Advaita Prabhu and his dealings with Haridas Thakur. Even though Haridas was born of a Mohammedan family, Advaita Prabhu offered him the first dish of prashad after the performance of a sacred fire ceremony. Haridas Thakur informed him that he was born of a Mohammedan family and asked why Advaita Prabhu was offering the first dish to a Mohammedan instead of an elevated Brahmana. Out of his humbleness, Haridas uh, condemned himself a Mohammedan, but Advaita Prabhu, being an experienced devotee, accepted him as a real Brahmana. Advaita Prabhu asserted that by offering the first dish to Haridas Thakur, he was getting the result of feeding 100,000 Brahmanas. The conclusion is that if one can feed a Brahmana or a Vaishnava, it is better than performing hundreds of thousands of sacrifices. In this age, it is therefore recommended that Harer Nam, chanting the holy name of God, and pleasing the Vaishnava are the only means to elevate oneself to spiritual life. Text nine. Yesham bibharam yaham akanda vaikunta yoga maya vibhutir amalan gri raja kiritai vipramst to ko na vishaita yad aranam baha sadhya punati saha chandra lalamalokan. I am the master of my unobstructed internal energy in the water of the Ganges is the remnant left after my feet are washed. That water sanctifies the three worlds along with Lord Shiva who bears it on his head. 
if I can take the dust of the feet of the Vaishnava on my head, who will refuse to do the same? Purport. The difference between the internal and external energies of the Supreme Personality of Godhead is that in the internal energy or the spiritual world, all the opulences are undisturbed, whereas in the external or material energy, all the opulences are temporary manifestations. The Lord's supremacy is equal in both the spiritual and material worlds, but the spiritual world is called the kingdom of God and the material world is called the kingdom of Maya. Maya refers to that which is not actually fact. The opulence of the material world is a reflection. It is stated in Bhagavad Gita that this material world is just like a tree whose roots are up and branches down. This means that the material world is the shadow of the spiritual world. Real opulence is the spiritual world, is in the spiritual world. In the spiritual world, the predominating deity is the Lord himself, whereas the material world, there are many lords. That is the difference between the internal and external energies. The Lord says that although he is the predominating factor of the internal energy, and although the material world is sanctified just by the water that has washed his feet, he has the greatest respect for the Brahmana and the Vaishnava. When the Lord himself offers so much respect to the Vaishnava and Brahmana, how can one deny such respect to such personalities? Text 10. Yeme tanur dvija varan duha tir madhya bhutanya labdha sharani cha bheda bhudhya drakshatya ghatshatya the Brahmanas, the cows, and the defenseless creatures are my own body. Uh, those whose faculty of judgment has been impaired by their own sin look upon these as distinct from me. They are just like furious serpents and they are angrily torn apart by the bills of the vulture-like messengers of Yamaraj, the superintendent of sinful persons. Purport. The defenseless creatures, according to Srimad Bhagavatam, are the cows, brahmanas, women, children, and old men. Of these five, the brahmanas and cows are especially mentioned in this verse because the Lord is always anxious about the benefit of the brahmanas uh, and the cows and is prayed to in this way. Therefore, the Lord especially instructs that no one should be envious of these five, especially the cows and brahmanas. In some of the Bhagavatam readings, the word uh, Duhitri is used instead of Duhati. But in either case, the meaning is the same. Duhati means cow, and Duhitri uh, can also be used to mean cow because the cow is supposed to be the daughter of the sun god. Just as children are taken care of by parents, women as a class should be taken care of by the father, husband, or grown up son. Those who are helpless must be taken care of by their respective guardians. Otherwise, the guardians will be subjected to the punishment of Yamaraj, who is appointed by the Lord to supervise the activities of sinful living creatures. The assistants or messengers of Yamaraj are likened here to vultures, and those who do not execute their respective duties in protecting their wards are compared to serpents. Vultures deal very seriously with serpents, and similarly, the messengers will deal very seriously with neglectful guardians. Text 11. E Brahmanan mai diya chipato ruchantas tushyadridhas mitra sudhachita padma vatraha Vanyanuraga Kalayat Majavad Grananta Sambodhayantyaham Ivaham Upahritastahi. On the other hand, they captivate my heart, who are gladdened in the heart, and who their lotus feet. 
Uh, on the other hand, they captivate my heart, who are gladdened in heart and who, their lotus faces enlightened by nectarian smiles, respect the brahmanas, even though the brahmanas utter harsh words. They look upon the brahmanas as my own self and pacify them by praising them in loving words, even as a son would appease an angry father or as I am pacifying you. Purple. It has been observed in many instances in the Vedic scriptures that when the Brahmanas or Vaishnavas curse someone in an angry mood, the person who is cursed does not take it upon himself to treat the Brahmanas or Vaishnavas in the same way. There are many examples of this. For instance, the sons of Kuvair, when cursed by the great sage Narada, did not seek revenge in the same harsh way, but submitted. Here also, when Jai and Vijay were cursed by the four Kumars, they did not become harsh towards them. Rather, they submitted. That should be the way of treating Brahmanas and Vaishnavas. One may sometimes be faced with a grievous situation created by a Brahmana, but instead of meeting him with a similar mood, one should try to pacify him with a smiling face and mild treatment. Brahmanas and Vaishnavas should be accepted as earthly representatives of Narayan. Now, nowadays, some foolish persons have manufactured the term uh, Daridra Narayana, indicating that the poor man should be accepted as the representative of Narayan. But in Vedic literature, we do not find that poor men should be treated as representatives of Narayan. Of course, those who are unprotected are mentioned here, but the definition of this phrase is clear from the Shastras. The poor man should not be unprotected, but the Brahmana should especially be treated as the representative of Narayan and should be worshipped like him. It is specifically said that to pacify the Brahmanas, one's face should be lotus-like. A lotus-like face is exhibited when one is adorned with love and affection. In this respect, the example of the father's being angry at the son and the son's trying to pacify the father with a smiling face and sweet words is very appropriate. And thus ends our reading for today. We'll continue from text 12 on Wednesday. Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramahamsa Shri Pad Bhakti Madhava Puri Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Shri Prabhupada Shri Guru Maharaj Shri Guru Dev Shri Acharya Dev Shri Shanta Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Rupa Nuga Guru Varga Ki Jai. Of course to the assembled devotees. Of course to the worldwide devotees. Sama Bhakti Veda Vring the Ki Jai. Jai. Jai Navadui Dham Ki Jai. Nishringa Pali Dham Ki Jai. Maya Pur Dham Ki Jai. Jai Dam Ki Jai Badev Sukhata Jagannath Ju Ki Jai Jai Yamuna Mai Ki Jai Vrindavan Dam Ki Jai Jai Govardhan Gupta Govardhan Dam Ki Jai Shakun Radhakun Ki Jai Toshi Bhakti Devi Vrinda Devi Ki Jai Jai Hari Nam Sankirtan Yajya Ki Jai Scientific Sankirtan Yajya Ki Jai Jai Ah, she might bag the batam kija, jai harnam sankirtan yagya kija, jai scientific sankirtan yagya kija, jai Princeton Bhakti Vedanta Institute kija, jai Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Institute kija, jai Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mutt kija, Nita Gora Premanundi, Hari Hari Bo, jai Shmati Uma Devi Dasi kija, jai Sri Pat Krishna Kesha Prabhu ji kija. Today you start early, Prabhuji? Yes, you started at 7.15 today because we have to go to a doctor's appointment. Oh, sorry. I didn't check the time. Okay. Thank you for coming. We're always very happy to associate with you even for two minutes. I am also waiting for every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. <laughs> You're very kind to us, Didi. And encouraging us always. We are so blessed to have your association. You're so wonderful. <laughs> really. I know what's needed.